the main man is wrong. Some words from Miko Seven Oaks. I don't know where you got the idea that we're pacifists. You're just as much as a pacifist as we are. You're fighting in a war world where you don't have to worry about your children getting slaughtered in their sleep the same as us. We just happen to think there's a few more options that uh, might give uh, help us get there. These words from a child of Gaia. There's a clan of, amongst the leeches that shares only one aspect with the children of Gaia. And it's that the clan Tremere and the children of Gaia are with probably what you would call the youngest. And as the children of Gaia, they are the peacemakers, the voice of reason, the people that, that would say, instead of doing this, we should do that. For the children have a belief. Gaia is a loving mo mother. And the worm's poison is from an absence of her love. As you can tell, they are also a philosophical group. Much like the Stargazers. But I digress. Like I said before, the children are the voice of peace in a society full of warriors. Which is perfectly understandable. To me, at least. Because when you spend a whole lifetime fighting, eventually, you'll get tired. Not just from fighting against the minions of the worm or the weaver, but fighting amongst your pack amongst your pack or tribe for mundane reasons. And a lot of times those mundane reasons benefit the worm better than the nation. The children have loose packs and loose sets. Much like the silent striders, they do roam a lot. But they're perfectly content of staying where they're needed. In their steps, they have two elders, the voice and the arm of Gaia. The voice, usually female, and the arm, usually male. For elders, they're a bit balanced out, at least from how I've observed them. They're usually active in environmental efforts. Which is a positive thing, as I've seen it, considering in these day, in these final days that the spring is getting hotter. There's a recent BP accident, and also ah, and also one thing that I've learned. From I believe last it was either last year or the year before that, the discovery of the Pacific Garbage Patch, which isn't the floating pile of trash as some would say, but still harmful to the environment. Just like just like any other tribe, they have a series of camps within the tribe. Bug and Neff would tell that these camps are more divided than they are united. Some will be more peaceful while some will be a little bit more extremist.
but one thing for sure that if there's one thing that these camps have to come and even as tribes just want the fact of they well you you just more options than the average garo while one would say that we have to kill this another would say no we have a ritual for that they the children will probably give us a few more options that probably most wouldn't think of their appearance quite practically every either everyone or everything that you would encounter in their lupus form. Their fur is white with dabbings of gray and brown. Much like some of the Arctic wolves that tend to live more further a little bit further south from the Arctic Circle. Probably my my guess is probably similar to the Arctic wolves in either Canada or Greenland. One thing that you can see is say not only for their lupus Garo, but even the Hamagaro as well. They have a calming aura about them. And a quiet race. Some would suspect Fey like. But there well we all know there's one tribe that does have Fey blood in them. Their kin much like the children themselves, tend to be every everyone and anyone you could think of. And while their girl tends tends to fight tends to bring about changes amongst the nation, the kin help bring bring change amongst the human. Their human kin will at least bring changes amongst the human. Being active in so in environmental and social issues. Their ter their original home territory is the Fertile Crescent in Finocchia uh, apologize, apologies for my mispronunciation that is where their original home is but much like the Striders it is anywhere where they are needed their totem is Unicorn So I would, I would appropriate, say it would be appropriate for them. Though I'm not sure if Unicorn is an avatar or piece. But it does explain whenever you see a child of Gaia, they have the calming aura and that quiet grace. Much like that every tribe has the Korax as an ally. There is one ally that they had, but is no longer around. And that ally is the Aphis, or more commonly known as the Moon Bull, the Minotaurs. They were the sages of their time. And it was them with a combination of the children and the stargazers that at an event known as the Impergium was laid to rest. From what I've heard, that the Aptis, though their gifts are slow, they are powerful. Very powerful. Until then, for the next time, the Celtic Bards of the Emerald Isles.